I believe it was Mariah Carey who once sang the words, All I want for Christmas is you. Well, she might have been writing that song about me, I'm not entirely sure. But in, in any event, I know that the people of SICW, the fans of SICW, feel the same way. That really all they want for Christmas is me, Travis Cook. And I can't blame them. And, and I've got good news for you people in SICW in East Carondelet, Illinois. This Christmas, you're going to get Travis Cook. I know that, that thrills you to no end. Because you see, on Saturday afternoon, December the 10th, 5 o'clock, there's going to be a meet and greet down at the East Carondelet Community Center with yours truly. You'll get to come by, shake my hand, speak to me a little bit, uh, kibitz a little bit, and uh, it'll be my Christmas present to you. And you know, just a couple of weeks ago, Herb Simmons called me up and, and I mean, he was yelling and screaming and doing all that stuff that he ordinarily does. And he's like, Travis, you got to come do this meet and greet. I have a contract on you and you got to do one of these per year. And I'm going to make sure you get, I'm like, Herb, 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 relax, chill, dude. It's Christmas. It's the holiday season. It's the time of giving and goodwill and cheer and all that other crap, right? I would be happy to come on down there and take it upon myself to spend some time with the folks of SICW and East Carondelet. It's the one time of year I ever do this, by the way, because you don't ordinarily see me do meet and greets. I'm not usually one of these people that is like one of these desperate wrestlers that runs around the ring at intermission and, and tries to get people to take my autograph. I'm not that kind of person. So this is one of the few times during the year that you folks will get the opportunity uh, you know, to interact with me, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure that you are too. By the way, I will not be the only person attending this meet and greet. I will obviously be the headliner, of course. You all know that. Uh, but Big Daddy will be there. He's been, been doing a great job of managing the area, and, and I'm sure that you'll enjoy speaking with Big Daddy. He'll be there. And there's this other guy that you might have heard of. I don't know. Um, this guy named Jimmy Hart. I don't know if you've heard of him or not. Uh, he was a manager uh, of some note in professional wrestling at one time. So some of you may have heard of Jimmy Hart. Um, Trying to think of what you might know him from. Some of you may be a little bit unfamiliar. Uh, you might know Jimmy Hart from, uh, I guess he was on a WrestleMania somewhere. And uh, he used to hang out with Hulk Hogan. I don't know if you remember that. He, had, he managed the Hart Foundation. I don't know if you remember him. I know. I know. I know what you guys will remember Jimmy Hart from. I got it. It just hit me. Jimmy Hart was the guy that got ran out of Memphis by Jerry Lawler. <laughs> yeah, that's him. He's the guy that got run clear out of Memphis by Jerry Lawler. Never came back. I mean, it's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I personally, I don't know what that's like to get run out of a city or run out of a wrestling promotion. It's never happened to me. But if, if you're curious about what it's like to get run out of a town or run out of a wrestling promotion, you can, you can ask Jimmy Hart. He'll be at the meet and greet. I'm sure he'd love to get that question from you, and, and you can get uh, that information from you. He'll be there signing autographs and, and meeting people. I'm, I'm sure it's a big thing for him to get to hang out with you know, big wrestling stars like Travis Cook and Big Daddy and so forth. That's probably a big deal for him. So so I hope you guys will come by and and, and meet and greet me and, and spend some time with Jimmy Hart. That'll be a big deal to him, and, and, and I think that'll be great. So why don't you come on by uh, Saturday afternoon, 5 o'clock, December 10th, East Carondelet, Illinois Community Center. And uh, there is one more thing I want to mention, and, and I, almost, I almost hate to bring this up because, again, this is Christmas time. It's a time of good cheer. It's a time of goodwill and peace on earth, etc., 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 right? So I don't want to put a damper on anything, but I, I do feel I need to mention this. Um, Jimmy Hart's going to be here. He's going to be signing autographs and, and hanging out, and that's great. But we did have a situation a couple of years ago where another one of these guys came down here to do the same thing, a guy named Jim Cornette. And, of course, Jim, Jimmy Hart, you, you, you know Jim Cornette, I know. You're really familiar with him. He was, a, what, a, a vice president of your first family at some point. I guess he carried your bags or was a flunky or something. Well, you know Jim Cornette, right? Well, we had Jim Cornette up here a couple of years back to do one of these things kind of like what you're doing, where he was going to sign autographs and hang out and glad hand people and get a free meal off of Herb Simmons or whatever. And... That's fine. I don't have any problem with that. Nobody has a problem with that. But at some point during the night, Jim Cornette got a wild hair and left the autograph table and came down to ringside and climbed into the ring and tried to get in my business. And um, that didn't work out too well for him. Uh, you'll notice 
that after that confrontation, Jim Cornette has not come back to St. Louis. I ran him out of town. I ran him out of here. He's scared to death to ever come back to St. Louis. Now, Jimmy, Jimmy Hart, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I don't want you to think I'm threatening you or anything like that. That's not the intent of this. But I know that sometimes you guys who are kind of these legends and you've had the great career and everything, sometimes you want that one last little bit of glory, okay, and sometimes you get out of your place. And I, I know, Jimmy, you're a... You're an enthusiastic guy to begin with. You're kind of a hyper guy. I know that about you. That's, that's well and good. But I just don't want you to get carried away and think that you can come down to ringside and intervene in what I'm doing or, heaven forbid, even try to do what I do. I mean, you were good in your day, but let's face it, you're no Travis Cook. Nobody is. So I'm just going to say that I hope you'll let discretion be the better part of valor. Sit behind the table, sign the autographs, have a good time, get to, get a free meal off a of herb, and don't try to interfere in my business because that won't end well for you. It never ends well for anybody that tries it. Merry Christmas!